The Atlanta Thrashers were an American professional ice hockey team based in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta was granted a franchise in the National Hockey League on June 25, 1997, and became the league's 28th franchise when it began play in the 1999 Euro 2000 NHL season. They were members of the Southeast Division of the NHL's Eastern Conference, and played their home games at Phillips Arena in downtown Atlanta. The Thrashers qualified for the Stanley Cup playoffs only once, during the 2006-07 season, when they won the Southeast Division, but were swept in the first round by the New York Rangers. In May 2011, the Thrashers were sold to a Canadian-based ownership group, True North Sports and Entertainment. The group moved the franchise to Winnipeg, Manitoba, which became the second incarnation of the Winnipeg Jets. The sale and relocation were approved by the NHL on June 21, 2011. With the sale and relocation of the team, Atlanta became the first city in the NHL's modern era to have two ice hockey teams relocate to different cities. In both cases, the team moved from Atlanta to Canada. The city's previous NHL team moved to Calgary, Alberta in 1980 to become the Calgary Flames. Franchise history after the departure of the IHL's Atlanta Knights to become the Quebec Raphaels, the city was awarded an NHL franchise on June 25, 1997, as part of a four-team tiered expansion. This also included teams in Nashville, Columbus and St. Paul, in which each new franchise would begin play as its respective new arena was completed. The birth of the new franchise marked NHL hockey's return to Georgia, as the Atlanta Flames established in 1972, departed for Canada in 1980 to become the Calgary Flames. The Flames had been the league's first foray into the southern U.S., and their failure discouraged further efforts to bring NHL hockey to the region for another decade. The nickname Thrashers, after Georgia's state bird the Brown Thrasher, was selected from a fan poll. Thrashers had actually been runner-up to Flames in the poll, and Phillips Arena, the Thrashers' new home, was built on the site of the former Omni, which had been home to the Flames. By coincidence, the first encampment which would later become Atlanta was called Rasheville, and a historical marker of this is located just down from the arena in front of the State Bar of Georgia, 2000 Euro 2003, the early years, the newly formed Thrashers selected Patrick Stefan with the first overall selection and Luke Sellers with their 30th overall pick in the 1999 NHL entry draft. However, the entire 1999 NHL entry draft was a major disappointment for the Thrashers, as all of their 11 draft picks were out of the NHL by the team's last season of existence. Stefan played the most games for the Thrashers from that draft. Their first two picks were called two of the biggest disappointments in draft history. NHL.com listed Stefan as the worst first overall pick of all time and Sellers as the worst 30th overall pick in NHL history. This turn of events was a major surprise, as not only did the media hype Stefan as a franchise player, but hockey experts also considered Thrash's general manager Don Waddell to be a man with excellent scouting ability. The Thrashers played their first game on October 2, 1999, losing for a Euro 1 to the New Jersey Devils. Captain Kelly Buchpa scored the franchise's first goal in the loss. The team went on to finish their first season in last place in the Southeast Division, with a record of 14 wins, 61 losses and 7 ties for a total of 39 points. Atlanta had the second overall pick in the 2000 NHL entry draft. This draft brought better results, as the player chosen with the pick, Danny Hadley, went on to become one of the team's best players. The team also had a fine choice in the 2001 draft, with first overall pick Elia Korvalkuk. Both Hadley and Korvalkuk played their first season in the NHL in 2001 Euro 2. Both players were named to the NHL All-Rookie Team and Hadley was awarded the Calder Memorial Trophy as the league's Rookie of the Year, 2003 Euro 2005, the Atlanta Spirit Years and the NHL Lockout, on September 21, 2003. Time Warner, the owners of both the Thrashers and the NBA's Atlanta Hawks, sold both teams to Atlanta Spirit, LLC, a group consisting of businessmen based both in Atlanta and elsewhere. Tragedy struck the team just eight days after the sale, 
As star Ford Daney Hatley crashed his Ferrari in a one-car accident that seriously injured both himself and Thrasher's center Dan Snyder. Hetley suffered a broken jaw and arm, a sprained wrist, and torn ACL and MCL knee ligaments, but Snyder died five days later due to septic shock from his injuries. The Thrashers dedicated their entire 2003 Euro 04 season to Snyder's memory, and Thrashers players wore black patches with Snyder's number, 37, on their jerseys for the season. Hetley's blood alcohol content was below the legal limit, but his combination of speeding and recklessness led to criminal charges, which were later dropped. He eventually received three years probation and community service. Led by Captain Sean Moy Chern, the Thrashers jumped quickly out of the gate with some notable highlights. Elia Korvakuk scored eight goals in the first seven games, including two hat-tricks, one in a 7 a Euro 2 route of the Chicago Blackhawks and another in a come-from-behind victory against the Nashville Predators. Those comeback victories became a recurring sight throughout the season, as Atlanta pulled off stunning upsets over the Toronto Maple Leafs, Boston Bruins, and Ottawa Senators, as well as wins against the Los Angeles Kings and New York Islanders. Eleven games into the season, the Thrashers were alone in first place atop both the Southeast Division and the NHL. Although they continued to play well, they could not keep up with the Tampa Bay Lightning, the eventual Stanley Cup champions, or other teams in the league. Boxing Day 2003 marked both a bright and dark day for the Thrashers. On that day, Hetley skated for the first time since his car accident with Snyder, but it also marked the last win for the Thrashers before an extended losing streak. From December 28 to February 11, the team went a dismal 1 a Euro 17 a Euro 3. However, fans were entertained regardless of the team's struggles. Korvakuk became only the second Thrashers player to score in the NHL All-Star Game. While the Thrashers' playoff hopes were done for the year, they finished second in the Southeast Division to Tampa Bay and 10th in the Eastern Conference, only a handful of wins away from the playoffs. Korvakuk tied for the league lead in goals with Calgary's Jerome McGinley and Columbus' Rick Nash. Goaltender Kari Leitonen began his NHL career with four wins in four starts, including one shutout. 2005 Euro 2006, post lockout, before the start of the 2005 Euro 06 season, the Thrashers signed many veteran players in the hopes of making the playoffs, including Ford's Bobby Hollick and Scott Mellenby. Defenseman Jaroslav Madri, and goaltender Mike Dunham. At the same time, however, they lost one of their brightest stars, as Hetley requested a trade in an attempt to leave behind memories of his tragic 2003 car accident. He was eventually swapped to the Senators in exchange for Marion Hossa and Greg Devries. The 2005 Euro 06 season saw the Thrashers win a club record 41 games, even with numerous goaltending injuries. Only a few minutes into the first game of the season, Leighton and pulled his groin, an injury that would keep him out for a good portion of the season. Veteran backup Dunham, an experienced number one minder, stepped in, but also promptly injured himself only a few games later. This left only prospects Michael Garnett and Adam Burkle to tend goal. Journeyman goalie Steve Shields was signed, but he too was injured within ten games. On April 6, Late Onan was run into by Tampa Bay's Chris Dingman, injuring him yet again. The remainder of the season was left to Dunham. Garnett was injured in a game against the Washington Capitals. Dunham, who had started the game but was relieved by the young rookie after poor play, was forced back into action in the third period. 2006 a Euro 2007, first and only taste of success. The Thrashers' 2006 Euro 07 season began with the highest expectations in franchise history, even after the team's second leading scorer, Mark Savard, departed as a free agent for Boston. Veteran center Steve Ruckin, Nico Kaponen, and John Sim were acquired in an effort to make up for the Savard loss. With NHL superstars Marion Hossa and Elia Korvakuk and a healthy goaltender, Kari Leitonen, the Thrashers clinched their first playoff berth, winning the Southeast Division title with 43 wins and claiming the number three seed and home ice advantage in the first round of the playoffs. However, 
they were eliminated from the playoffs on April 18, being swept by the New York Rangers in four straight games in the conference quarterfinals, in what would be their first and only playoff appearance. 2007 Euro 2010, struggles, just months after reaching the playoffs for the first time. The Thrashers started the 2007 Euro 08 season off 0 Euro 6. Consequently, they fired head coach Bob Hartley on October 17, 2007, with general manager Don Waddell taking over behind the bench on an interim basis. The Thrashers ended the season with only 76 points, finishing 14th in the Eastern Conference. On January 27, 2008, the Thrashers hosted the NHL All-Star Game at Phillips Arena, matching the Eastern Conference All-Stars versus the Western Conference All-Stars. The game had originally been scheduled for the 2004 Euro 05 season, but the NHL lockout of that year, followed by the 2006 Winter Olympics the following season and the Dallas Stars hosting of the 2007 NHL All-Star Game, made 2008 the earliest available date. The Eastern Conference won the game 8 Euro 7, with former Thrasher Mark Savard scoring the game winner late in the third period. Although he was a member of the Bruins, the Atlanta crowd cheered Savard the entire night. On June 20, 2008, John Anderson was named as the fourth head coach in Thrasher's history. In his first season, the Thrashers matched their previous season with 76 points, while finishing 13th in the Eastern Conference. Simultaneously, Atlanta Spirit, LLC, the team's ownership group, was coming apart at the seams. A dispute between Steve Belkin and his seven fellow owners dated back to 2005. Belkin claimed the other owners breached their contract, giving him the right to buy them out at cost, while his partners said they should be able to buy out Belkin's 30% stake. On November 3, court proceedings began in Maryland to decide the group's fate. In the final year of his contract, Elia Korvakuk and the Thrashers could not come to an agreement on an extension. Thrashers general manager Don Waddle reportedly offered 12-year, $101 million and 7-year, $70 million contracts, both of which Korvakuk turned down. Rather than potentially losing him to free agency in the offseason, the team traded Korvakuk on February 4, 2010 to the New Jersey Devils. Atlanta received defenseman Johnny Odia, rookie Ford Nicholas Bargfors, junior prospect Patrice Cormier and a first-round selection in the 2010 NHL entry draft in exchange for Korvakuk and defenseman Ansi Samula. The teams also traded second-round selections in the 2010 NHL entry draft. The Thrashers finished 10th in the Eastern Conference, with 83 points which would be the most points they had earned in a regular season from the time they won the division title in 06-07 to the team's relocation in the summer of 2011. 2010 Euro 2011, the final season in Atlanta, on April 14, 2010, three days after the finish of the 2009 Euro 10 season and after two unsuccessful attempts at making the playoffs, the contracts of head coach Anderson and his coaching staff were not renewed. General Manager Waddell was promoted to President of Hockey Operations, while former Assistant General Manager Rick Dudley took Waddell's place as General Manager. This was the first General Manager change in Thrasher's history. Dudley made his first trade on June 23, 2010, involving nine players in draft picks, with the Chicago Blackhawks. The Thrashers received Dustin Bufuglian, Ben Eager, Brent Sobel and Akimalu for Marty Reisner, Joseph Crabb. Jeremy Morin, the Thrashers' first round pick in 2010 and the Thrashers' second round pick in 2010. Later, the Thrashers also traded for Blackhawk Andrew Ladd while sending prospect Ivan Vishnevsky and a draft pick to Chicago. The Blackhawks, the 2010 Stanley Cup champions, found it necessary to trade players for prospects and picks as they were in difficulty with the salary cap. The next day, the team named Craig Ramsey as the new head coach. Ramsey, who had been an assistant coach for the Boston Bruins for the previous three seasons, was a former NHL player who had been a teammate of Dudley's on the Buffalo Sabres. In the following weeks, the Thrashers hired an associate coach, John Torchetti, and an assistant coach, Mike Stothers. The team also hired Clint Malakouk as a goaltending consultant. 
the Thrashers' last win came against the New York Rangers in Madison Square Garden on April 7, 2011. On April 10, 2011, the Thrashers played their last game in Atlanta against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Tim Stapleton scored the last goal in Thrashers' history in a 5 Euro 2 loss to Pittsburgh. The final NHL goal scored in Phillips Arena was tallied by the Penguins' Mike Comrie, an empty net goal and his first of the season. Sale and relocation, due to financial losses and ownership struggles, the team was frequently a target of relocation rumors. In later years, reports saw the team courted by suitors intending to relocate to Kansas City, Missouri, Quebec City, Quebec, Hamilton, Ontario or Winnipeg. Manitoba. On January 22, 2011, the team's ownership group claimed it had lost $130 million US dollars in the last six years, partially as a result of an ongoing lawsuit with former partner Steve Belkin. In February 2011, majority owner Michael Giron stated that the team would be seeking new investors. Various local groups announced their intent to purchase the franchise and keep it in Atlanta but ultimately the team was sold to the Canadian group True North Sports and Entertainment. On May 16, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution reported that talks for a sale to True North Sports and Entertainment were underway. According to the Globe and Mail, a deal was finalized on May 20, 2011 to relocate the team to Winnipeg. The league later denied the report but acknowledged that advanced negotiations between the two teams were underway and that Commissioner Gary Bettman supported the move. Draft schedules were prepared that accommodated for the team's move to Winnipeg, as True North sought to move the AHL team that played in Manitoba, eventually moving that team to St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador in Atlantic Canada. On May 31, 2011, True North Sports and Entertainment and the NHL held a press conference in Winnipeg to announce the completion of a deal to purchase the Thrashers. True North intended to relocate the team to the MTS Center in Winnipeg and on June 21, 2011, both the sale and relocation of the team were formally approved by the NHL's Board of Governors. The Atlanta Spirit Group, however, retains the rights and logos for the Thrashers. The Thrashers website was shut down soon after. Season by season record. This is a partial list of the last five seasons completed by the Thrashers. For the full season by season history, see List of Atlanta Thrashers seasons. Note GP equals games played, W equals wins, L equals losses, T equals ties, OTL equals overtime losses, PTS equals points, GF equals goals for, GA equals goals against, team information, jerseys. The team colors were ice blue, navy blue, red, and gold. In 2003 the NHL decided to switch home and road jerseys. In 2007 Reebok came out with the new jerseys as part of the rollout of the Reebok Edge uniform system. Only the piping changed for the Thrashers jerseys. Atlanta unveiled its new third jersey, red and midnight blue with white and gold trim on October 10, 2008. Mascot the team's mascot was Thrash, a brown thrasher, which also is the official state bird of Georgia. Players and personnel, team captains. Honored members, Hall of Famers, Chris Chelios, D. 2010, inducted 2013, retired numbers, notes, 1 The Thrashers never officially retired any numbers. Number 37 was unofficially taken out of circulation after the death of Thrasher Dan Snyder in September 2003. Number 99 was retired by the NHL, league-wide, in 2000 to honor Wayne Gretzky. General managers, franchise records, scoring leaders, these are the top 10 point, goal, and assist scorers in franchise history. Note, PO equals position. GP equals games played. G equals goals. A equals assists. PTS equals points. PG equals points per game. Gram per gram equals goals per game. R per gram equals assists per game. Single season leaders. Awards and trophies. Calder Memorial Trophy, Danny Hadley, 2001 a Euro 02, Rocket Richard Trophy, Elia Korvacuk, 2003 a Euro 04, 
the Georgia Euro Unregistered Trademark S own Credit Union Three Stars of the Year Award was awarded annually to the Thrashers player amassing the most number of points throughout the season by being named as one of the three stars of each game. The award was created in the Thrashers' inaugural season of 1999. Winners, 2010 Euro 11 Andrej Pavilk, goaltender, 2009 Euro 10 Joan Hedberg, goaltender, 2008 Euro 09 Elia Korvalkuk, forward, 2007 Euro 08 Elia Korvalkuk, forward, 2006 Euro 07 Maria N. Hossa, forward, 2005 Euro 06 Maria N. Hossa, forward. 2004 Euro 05 not awarded due to NHL lockout, 2003 Euro 04 Elia Korvalkuk, forward, 2002 Euro 03 Danny Hatley, forward, 2001 Euro 02. Danny Hatley, forward in Milan Nilia Carr, goaltender, 2000 Euro 01 Ray Ferraro, forward, 1999 Euro 2000 Ray Ferraro, forward, media. The Atlanta Thrashers were broadcast on cable television on Sports South and Fox Sports South. Radio coverage included play-by-play -play of all games on 680 The Fan in Atlanta. The station was the flagship of a network that included 18 stations. Most were in Georgia, but there were two affiliates in South Carolina and one in Scotchboro, Alabama. References NHL board unanimous on Winnipeg sale, relocation. NHL.com. June 21, 2011. Retrieved June 21, 2011. A. Uh, HTTP. slash arth 210066s HTML. Thrashable historical marker. Uh, Atlanta Thrashes Draft History at Hockey Database. A. Uh, Kreiser, John. The Best Picks Ever, Number 1 to 30. NHL.com. Retrieved June 25, 2009. A Sadness in Atlanta. Sports Illustrated. October 13, 2003. Retrieved September 6, 2010. A felony charge dropped for Thrasher's Stars plea. February 5, 2005. Retrieved November 4, 2011. A Thrasher's to Winnipeg rumor wishful thinking. February 17, 2010. Retrieved February 28, 2011. A AB Group wants to move Atlanta Thrashers to Hamilton. The Star May 9, 2009. Retrieved February 28, 2011. A lawsuit claims Thrashers have lost 130 million US dollars since 05. January 22, 2011. Retrieved January 23, 2011. A sense of urgency faces Atlanta Thrashers ownership group. February 16, 2011. Retrieved January 24, 2011. A uh, filmmaker Stephen Rollins interested in Thrashers. February 17, 2011. Retrieved January 26, 2011. A uh, Ozanian, Mike. Forbes HTTP blogs Forbes com 201102 uh, Atlanta Spirit True North in negotiations about Thrashers sale relocation. Brunt, Stephen. Atlanta Thrashers moving to Winnipeg. The Globe and Mail. Archived from the original on May 20, 2011. Retrieved May 19, 2011. A. Uh, Zwolanski, Mark and Kevin Megan. Atlanta Thrashes a Euro unregistered trademark move to Winnipeg not complete, parties insist. Toronto Star. Retrieved May 20, 2011. Lawless, Gary. Few hurdles to potential Thrashes sale to Winnipeg. Montreal Gazette. Retrieved May 20, 2011. Short, Robin. AHL return waiting on first a Euro unregistered trademark peg. St. John's Telegram. Retrieved May 24, 2011. Thrashers move to Winnipeg approved ESPN, Thrashers unveil third jerseys. October 8, 2008. Archived from the original on October 9, 2008. Retrieved October 10, 2008, uh, including a photo timeline of Thrashers jerseys. Gretzky's number retired before All-Star Game, Sports Illustrated, February 7, 2000.